playing with someone for, for so many games at England and been through so many moments with him, um, knowing what he's been going through or at, at his club as well and, and the person that he is, I think um, it, it, it speaks volumes about him um, to come through that and, and to still believe in himself like I believed him, like like uh, all the teams believed him, and you know his teammates at, at United. And I think there's been a lot of noise from the outside, which he's he's not listened to and, and tried to improve on him, on himself and better himself. And he's come into this tournament and, and hit the ground running, and that's yeah, great credit to him. Uh, Phil's um, I, I've never seen anyone like Phil. Um, Anyone at that age, sorry, like Phil, with his ability, with his his football knowledge, his his, uh, his freedom, I suppose, in in how he plays and how he expresses himself, and the ability the ability that he's got is uh, is frightening. I'm I'm a huge fan of Phil. Um, lucky to get to play with him pretty much every day, and um, yeah, I, I look forward to what he can do and and love playing with him. So. And how important is Kyle's recovery pace in terms of giving you and Harry the confidence to maybe play slightly further forward? Are you saying I'm not fast? <laughs> no. <laughs> not, well, you're not as fast as Kyle. No, exactly. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a great attribute that he's got and, and definitely um, that's what makes a team. I think, you know, in certain situations we, we kind of rely on him that, to get us out of a bad situation or you know, whatever it might be and... He is, yeah. Um, it's probably one of the teams where I've seen so many leaders actually in, in within our team. <laughs> is, is that a fine? <laughs> um, but yeah, a huge 